let's consider the case uh, when we have a disk this is a disk and this disk is attached to a wire and this wire is attached to a ceiling from top the disk is going to look like this and what we do is twist twist the disk a little and we'll observe that the disk will sort of oscillate like this left and right so this disk is held by wire and the wire is sort of providing something called torsion so this is actually also a sort of simple harmonic motion this is a simple harmonic motion and the farther away so if this is the natural position in which the disk is being hung and if you twist it twist the, uh, the disk clockwise or anti-clockwise then it experiences a restoring torque same as the case of a spring mass system if we stretch this the mass then it's exp it experiences a restoring force but this guy here uh, what has been changed is the angle and here it was the distance so if you change the angle this guy experiences a restoring torque provided by the wire so the restoring torque is given as minus k theta if you remember in this case it, the restoring force was given as minus k x and there were minus signs because you know uh, the restoring force was in the opposite direction as the displacement similarly here the restoring torque is in the opposite direction as the angle theta so if we give uh, uh, a, a, a clockwise uh, if we provide a clockwise change in angle the torque will try to move the whole thing in the anti-clockwise direction which will try to restore it so we can write the Newton's equation for angular part as I alpha plus K theta equals zero and because let's say this is the z-axis all we are dealing with is the z-axis we can actually write I alpha just in terms of magnitude equals zero and alpha plus k over i theta equals zero where omega square equals k over i very much similar to here when omega square was k over m k is called the torsion coefficient well we know here k is called a spring coefficient a spring constant right okay so is there anything else that needs to be discussed so we see an analogy I am has been replaced by I but the idea is still the same if you provide um, uh, for some angle theta the still the idea is the same for some angle theta which is let's say this theta there's a restoring torque which is given as minus k theta and we reduce to this equation and this is omega square.